Hello and welcome to another fun filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? episode 101 um we are in the new realm uh somewhat uh we're gonna uh cover some uh old ground and yet new ground at the same time uh native instruments um and uh, the awesome folks that write their blogs uh always come out with articles um with uh that that kind of highlights some of the um some of the really awesome ensembles within the reactor user library and one of the latest articles just came out on June 19th this year 2019 depending on when you're viewing this um it said uh, best dark techno ensembles for the reactor user library so i'm just picking the first one in the list here the main machine screaming lead tones and beefy bass tones a vintage classic and more than accurately re rebuilt digital robe the ms20 is a patchable semi-modular monosynth known for its warm and powerful filters beefy sounding two oscillator engine which this clone captures fantastically so if you just check out Polly's ms20 clone here it just opens up the uh reactor community page where you can uh sign in with your uh native instruments uh log in and go ahead and download it you can also check out any of uh this uh this guy's other ensembles here if you click on his name uh the creator name will bring you to all the other ensembles they created so really cool stuff um but I'm going to go ahead and find out for today. I'll also include a link to this uh, as well as this link for, uh, for the blog in the uh, description for the video. Um, so uh, for today, what I've already done is I've moved this uh, instrument into my community ensembles folder for Reactor. And I want to find out how I can how I can load this uh within um within machine essentially how i can just load up reactor as an instrument and then i you know i want to play reactor uh and choose between the different instruments that are available there so i'm sure i have to choose a sound to kind of start with and then maybe go through the mixer to get to reactor and open it up and start editing it so let's kind of figure that out i want to figure how figure out how to do that when i need to do that so let's take a look at the browser and let's go instruments. And we'll go ahead and choose, um, instead of all instruments, let's go ahead and choose reactor. And I wonder what all banks gives me. So here we go. This just allows me to load a you know specific type of sound from for example the carbon 2 library. really doesn't matter what instrument I open because I'm going to try to open this MS-20 instrument. So let's just go ahead and open up a sound. And I can either double click it, which I've done, or if I'm still browsing sounds, I can uh, kind of press my encoder to uh, get to a sound. All right, so at least we know we have a keyboard on this channel. Now let's get to the mixer and open reactor and see if we can't figure out how to open up, here we go, the entire browser. And then uh, let's go ahead and edit mode this 
and then yeah see now we're now we're just opening normal reactor within machine within you know obviously pro tools here to uh record this now i'm going to go to my user library and right here i know i know where this is but you know this is just my navigation to it but user library community in in my case for today ensembles ms20 and no we're not going to save changes to this um but now we can mess with MS-20 within machine and possibly get some kind of a pattern going for this. So... Does sound juicy, that's for sure. Um, so I wonder. It says it's somewhat patchable. I wonder how you can patch things together. Uh, maybe it's already somewhat patched. But at any rate, it looks like we have our oscillator section here. Mixer. Oof, that sound really nice. A voltage controlled high pass filter. Voltage controlled low pass filter, very nice. And Alt ZDF, I'm not sure what that is. Ring mod hack, I don't know what that is either. And let's get rid of this browser. And I wonder how we can save this within, say, like a user instrument. So let's see. Oh, and we're running super hot, aren't we? So let's go ahead and take care of that. There we go. Much better. And that's a nice sounding filter. There's a the volume too. There we go. We could we could get it back up to a respectable volume. Just control the volume this way. Let's go ahead and see if we can change our tempo. Um, there we go. Nice. So how can we get, um, so where's, let's see, modulation envelope generator, envelope generator two. Interesting. Trying to find something, something with some punchiness. Audio in, nice. You can put an audio input in, VCO in. Interesting. Okay, so low cut frequency. Turn it up a little bit where we can hear it. See if we can MIDI learn that with the mod wheel. I always like to do that. <laughs> Find something simple, and I mean, this thing has a mod wheel on it. It's just, it's the, it's the touchpad, which is awesome. So,
There's that sub. back in business um so let's let's get a little pattern going for this guy here and then let's get some drums going and see see where we're at oh yeah that's what i was trying to figure out how i could save a uh preset here so let's see if i go file uh view controller let's see has reactor in it so how could I save this group here we go save as uh, maybe groups That's what I'm going to find out, too. I'll find out how to save your own instruments as your own presets, like a user library preset. Of course, there is a way to do it. Uh, I'm just not fully aware of how you do it right now. Um, but without wasting too much time on that, that's what I was trying to find out. Let's get to uh, routing our outputs and getting something recorded here a little bit. So let's get this out to number nine. Yep. All right, so that's happening at a respectable volume now. All right, and then um, what we're going to do is let's get a pattern in here. So, um, let's go to, and I know I'm just messing with this first preset, but we can always sif siphon through some of these presets on the reactor thing once we get a pattern going. So let's go to, uh, the patterns and what kind of pattern length are we looking at? I want to change our default to two. Yeah. I'm, I seem to have to change this a lot. Or change our default to four, maybe. So let's see. All right. Um, let's get a metronome. record three four nope undo that all right
Here we go. Not bad. pattern going here and what we're gonna look for is some type of kit that is it's kind of dark dark sounding like we want somewhat like a not really an urban kit but like a techno sort of a kit but like dark that one. Let's do this one. Alright, running a little hot on the group. Let's get colored and go ahead and start recording something, something, something. So we'll go number two, send this out to number two, three, three, four, and five. Send this out to number five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do some volume, which I can, I've now figured out you can easily do on the, um, on the hardware. So I'll just press the volume button and then press, hold down your pad and I know that's, that's going to be a lot better. And then I'm actually, you know, I'd, I want to record it at about that level, but I'm also gonna kind of come down in the in the in the DAW as well. Now that shaker is at a good volume. That claps at a good volume. That's a that's good. That's good. That's a little loud for my tastes. Well, let's record it at about that volume and. Daw it up. That's that needs to come down. Well, in the daw, it needs to come down. So there we go. And same with that one. I like the levels there. We don't want to one shot that sound, so let's do. Envelope.
kind of darken it up a little bit.
Until next time.